come Tuesday. The words hope and change carried President Barack Obama a long way back in 2008. But if he gets a second term, what does he hope to accomplish? CNN's legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin says it is way too unclear at this point. In a commentary for The New Yorker this week, Tubin wrote this. He said the president and his campaign have been strikingly quiet about plans for a second term. As a rule, all incumbents of whatever office run for re-election on their records rather than on their future promises. But Obama appears to have taken the strategy to an extreme. So I've got Goldie Taylor here with me. She's a political analyst, a social critic, managing editor of the new Goldie Taylor Project, blog at GoldieTaylor.com. So Goldie, what about Tubin's points here? Why don't we know more about the president's plan for the future as Jeffrey Tubin says we don't? Well, I think, I think the first thing that we have to put away with is that, you know, some of my colleagues say that they are objective about things, and then they come down one-sided, and I think that's problematic here. If you look at the entire GOP field, the most comprehensive economic strategy that any of them had was 999. The most comprehensive economic strategy that any of them had was 999. 